Hi, I'm Mike, and today we take a look at the actual numbers behind farming and ranching. The dollars and the cents, and not the common sense, because after this you might be wondering if I have any sense at all. Stick around and learn more on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Is much better. <laughs> so ranching is easy, right? Basically, all you have to do is get some cows, some land with some grass on it, of course, and watch the cows grow and collect your paycheck. It sounds easy, but if it were really that easy, everybody would be doing it and driving Lamborghinis out to feed the cows. When it comes down to the cost of raising cows, there are a bunch of different factors to take into consideration. You've got land, fencing, corrals, feed, mineral, water, electricity, taxes, insurance, and a whole mess of other costs. Today, we're gonna delve into all that as we take a look at a pretend ranch here in Wyoming. You just bought it. It's big enough to run 100 cows. Here in this part of Wyoming, you need an average of 30 acres per cow to support them the grass they eat, and the grazing area they need. So your new ranch is 3,000 acres that you purchased at a decent price for $800 per acre for a total of $2.4 million. Congratulations, you're a Wyoming rancher. Now, first things, we gotta get to fencing this monster off. Hopefully, fences are already in place. That would be a good thing because fence is gonna cost you about $2 per linear foot. Now, even if you have most of the fences in place already, I'm gonna say that you wanna change things a little bit and at least put in a couple miles of fence to suit your needs. So, there goes another 20 grand. That includes posts and fencing materials. Now, we have to put some cows on here. Like I said, you have room for 100 cows. You're gonna go out and buy bred cows because that's gonna make your life easier and you're gonna have a calf sooner, so an income sooner. Bread cows at this moment are selling for about $1,500 a piece. You need 100 of them, so there's $150,000. Let's stop there. You have $2.5 million invested at this point. You've got cows, you've got fence, and you've got land. All this money has to come from somewhere. So you have a very generous banker out there who really believes in you and he's gonna give you all the money you need. Let's be really generous and say at 4% interest. If you can get that loan for 30 years, then your payment is $150,000 a year. Are you starting to see the problem here? To make that loan payment, each one of your cow's calves have to sell for over $1,500. And that's just to make your payment. So let's change things up. Let's say your uncle left you the land and the cows. Now you're starting at zero. There isn't any operating capital to go with it because most ranchers don't carry a huge amount of cash. But you're lucky to get what you have and again, you're a Wyoming rancher. Now, we're back to the cows. And they aren't an endless source of income. Each cow is gonna cost you in replacement costs and death loss. And when it's time to sell her, she's gonna be worth less than half of what you paid for or what she's actually worth. So a pretty conservative estimate is gonna say that each cow is gonna cost you $100 a year in replacement costs. You have the cows, now you have to feed them. Here in this part of Wyoming, we plan on feeding for about six months out of the year. A cow will eat about a half a ton of hay per month, and in a year like this one, you're gonna to have to buy hay at $180 a ton. If we break this down by the cow, each cow is gonna eat $540 worth of hay. Grass is cheaper and worth about $20 a month for the other six months of the year. So that's $120 for her just for her summer grass. It's adding up pretty quick. We already have $760 invested in this cow. She isn't even bred yet. So we better get a bull in here. A good bull is gonna cost you about $4,000. He's gonna last about six years 
So we have a yearly cost of him at 660 bucks. And he'll breed about 20 or so cows. So that's $33 per cow to own the bull, plus his feed, which will average about $30 per cow. So now we're in another $63 just to get her bred. We're up to $823 for this cow. Now we get to throw in $10, per, $10 per cow for vet fees, and we need to pay her share of the tractor costs for feeding, which averages on the low side, maybe $50 per cow. Now, if you want to get paid for your time, which I'm guessing you do, let's give you $30,000 per year. That's another $300 per cow. Now this cow is costing the ranch over $1,100 per year. We didn't put up any hay of our own to feed the cows over the winter. So that's what she costs. Let's pretend it's a good year. Let's go back. We have lots of hay to harvest. Now we need a tractor and a baler and probably a rake. The cost of putting up your own hay, maybe 90 bucks a ton. That brings the cost of this cow down to $830. Keep in mind, these are major expenses. We aren't talking about taxes, utilities, corrals, truck, stock trailer, a $40,000 used tractor they all add up as well. Let's average a good year and a bad year and say that this cow costs the ranch $965 a year. Now, let's look at the income. When we sell calves, we're hoping for a calf that is around 600 pounds. This year, prices aren't horrible and a 600 pound calf sold last week for $1.60 a pound. That's an income of $960. Of course, not all of them are going to weigh 600 pounds, so let's average $900 per calf. And only 90% of the cows are actually going to have a calf that makes it all the way to sales time. So that brings us down to $810 of income per cow. Then there's trucking the calf and the vaccinations that we give them before they can be sold, and now we're down to $800 of income per head. So in a good year, not including about a million other little expenses, this cow it's gonna cost you $30 a year. In an average year, $165, and in a bad year, $300. Take those numbers and multiply them by all 100 of your cows in your herd, and the numbers don't add up. Did we screw up the math somewhere? Nope. These are real costs. And now, I'm gonna tell you the secret of ranching and ranchers. No rancher recognizes the true cost of raising cattle. Each and every one has some trick or extra cash flow or a way to ignore the inherent costs of ranching. Let's go back. Let's start at the beginning once again. Most ranchers have a herd that's bought and paid for. They don't account for the cost of the cows. When ranchers put up their own hay, the equipment and the land, it's paid for. So you have the cost of fuel and repairs. And when it comes to labor costs, we take a huge pay cut and look for ways to make up that loss somewhere else. Jobs in town, side jobs with friends, hunting income, maybe even YouTube. So a rancher ignores the value of his own cows, the hay, the grass, and his time. If you get rid of those costs, that's the money that's left. With that money, you can buy a pickup every 10 years or put up new corrals every 20. Keep in mind, every operation is different and in some places, land may be worth 10 times what it is here and there may be a whole new mess of problems. So the question is, can it be done? Of course it can, but it has to be done pretty smartly. I've seen people inherit whole ranches and couldn't hold the operation together, but I've also seen people be successful in what they do and loving every minute of it. I think that's the key. You need to love it and you have to have an incentive to do it. Make a promise to yourself or somebody else that you will do everything you can to make every bit of your hard work worth it. Speaking of hard work, I'm about ready to head back out to work, but I wanna thank you for taking your time to hang out with me today. I know I threw a lot at you, but hopefully it brings you closer to us and knowing why farming and ranching is important. Another reason we don't want to lose even a single farm or ranch. In the U.S., 40 acres of farm and ranch land is lost every hour. And once they're bulldozed and paved over, they're gone forever. 
We're just trying to do our part. We all are. And thanks for that also. Make sure you subscribe for more from The Ranch and exactly why through hard work, great things can happen. Have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. You know what, in the US, 40 acres of farm, there's a cat crawling up my leg. In the US, where was I? In the US, uh, 40 acres of farm and ranch land are lost every hour. And once they're bulldozed and paved over, they're gone forever. I, I can't get out. There we go. <laughs> and it's really dark. That ain't gonna work.